Hey guys, thank you for stopping by. Hope everybody's having a great day. So today we're gonna do a quick walk around and review of the components that came with my new bike. This is a Trek Marlin 5 that I got from the Trek store in my uh, local city here. So we'll do a quick walk around here to kinda show the bike. And then what we'll do is we'll put it up on a wall rack and review the different components on the bike. So we'll go around here. So just to give you an overview real quick, um, everything that you see is stock on the bike except for the water bottle, the water bottle holder, and that light in the back there the flashing light. Um, I'll go ahead and link where I got those items from um, on Amazon and you'll be able to purchase it if that's something you want to purchase. So we'll do one more round here. I did get the bike with the kickstand. That was an added on accessory. Um, I may take it off depending on how I feel because I do have a wall mount So what we'll do now, we'll kind of showcase all the different components on the bike that came. Okay, so what we'll do now is we'll go ahead and take some close-ups of the bike. And what I'll also do is uh, I'll link the Trek website in the description for this exact bike. So you guys can take a look at the description and the specifications um, for every single component that's on the bike. I'll go ahead and cover some of them here. Um, so this is a 29er. Um, so 29 inch rim, um, it does have hydraulic brakes. It also offers internal cable routing. Um, so here's some close-ups of the brakes and the shifter. So it's Shimano shifters. Let's see, and then we'll go down to the wheel here. You can see the brakes and then we'll go up here i haven't used this water bo water bottle a whole lot so i'm still testing it to see how it fits in there but as you can see it's really close to the top there so hopefully it won't be a problem coming out as i uh as i'm riding the bike so there's the pedals the crankshaft and there's the rear brakes and the kickstand. We'll go up to the seat here. And there's that light that I got um, that I'll also link in the description. Let's see how it looks real quick here. Yeah, it's really bright. As you can see from the reflection on the tire there. And the way you, and then there's different modes also. So there's a little bit brighter, a little bit lighter. Then you turn off that way and then you can press it to do different settings. Then you press and hold it to turn it off. Take a close up of the seat here. Pretty cushy. Again, most of everything is stock on the bike. So what I'll do now is I'll go ahead and turn around to the other side. Okay, so what I did was I went ahead and mounted the bike to the wall mount that I have just so you guys can see what it looks like. And the front wheel is off the ground, so I spun it just so you guys can tell um, that it is off the ground. Um, but we'll take a quick look there. See, it is off the ground. And I'll post a link to this on the, uh, in, the, in the description there. But overall, it's working out really well so far. I've only had it up there for about a week, so haven't seen any issues or anything like that. I do have it mounted to a stud. Let's see, so now what we'll do is we'll go ahead and take a look at some of the rear components on this side of the bike. 
So it does have a Shimano gears in the back and it is a Shimano shifter in the front along with the crankshaft and most of everything on this bank, uh, bike is Shimano. Um, and then the tires that you can see, let me turn it here. There you go, you can kind of see what those are. And it is a uh, dropper post ready. Um, so if you want to get a dropper post for the seat, um, so it does have the internal ca uh, cable routing right there, which then it comes out underneath. And you could have multiple water bottle holders, one there and one here. The size that I have is an 18.5. And the link that I'll post to the truck website does show what size you should get based off of your height. One more quick look in the front here. Uh, one thing that I did do is I went ahead and removed all the reflectors, the ones that were on the wheels, and the ones that were in, the one that was up in the front, and then I replaced the rear with that red flashing light that you saw earlier. So yeah, so that's a, a quick overview of my new bike, uh, which I'm hoping to ride this summer and get some good use of, out of it. And I'll give you guys an update um, if I run into any problems or you know how I feel about it. Um, I will say this is my first bike since I was a teenager. So I'm kind of starting out riding again. Um, and I wanted to get something that was entry level, but I didn't want to get a Walmart bike or anything like that. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but uh, I've heard some stories where they do need some fine tuning um, where you need to take it to a bike shop where they'll tune it for you and even then it won't ride as good as something like this. All right, well, I hope everybody has a great day and thank you for stopping by and uh, if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button.